Hey guys, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. This is a special episode, and not only because I get to show you the updated version of my favorite super delay, the Warriors Audio D1 version 2, but also because you can win it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the description box under the video for details on gear I'm using, links, details on the giveaway, my merch, all that kind of stuff. Talking of which, let's talk about the details of this giveaway. I teamed up with Warriors Audio and Face Distribution uh, to, to make this happen. And why am I even doing this giveaway? Well, the channel reached 30,000 subscribers, which is crazy. And I wanted to, to celebrate it, really. I wanted to say thank you. It's kind of a personal thing. Like, I do love this a lot. It's not just a random piece of gear. Like, come on, win stuff, win stuff. It's like, I really love this pedal. And I, um, I'm super stoked to have the option to uh, give one away. Now about the terms and conditions and all that, this giveaway is open for the citizens of the European Union and the United States of America for legal reasons and tax reasons. It's only EU and USA. I'll tell you soon what you have to do to enter the giveaway and have the chance to win it. But first, let's talk about the prize, the D1 version 2. Let's go through the specs super fast. I will not get into details because I made a video on the original D1 when it came out. You'll find the video on the channel. I put the link in the description and uh, in that corner as well. If you want to learn about it, all the details and everything, you'll find it there. In the upper row, you'll find three knobs, time, repeats, and mix. It all makes sense. It's all pretty standard at this point. You'll find these knobs on all delay pedals. In the lower row, you'll find the funky stuff. <laughs> On the left side, you'll find the tweak knob, which also has that mini toggle underneath. And with that, you can choose between three things you can tweak with that knob. You can tweak the amount of modulation, the tone of the repeats, how warm or, or clear it should sound, and the age. Then the next knob is called the program knob. This is where you get all the delay types. You'll get a digital, a modulated, a vintage, a dual, and a reverse delay. And right next to it, there's the attack knob, which is very unique. I've never seen that feature or, or knob on any other delay pedals. It's really cool because if you have it like counterclockwise, like off, it's your delay is just a delay pedal. It's normal. You have your repeats as expected. And as you go up with the attack, it kind of fades in more and more instead of having your initial attack. I love that feature. And uh, if you go like 
11, 12 o'clock ish already, you get almost like a reverb kind of very subtle fade in kind of delay repeat happening. It's awesome. And you can actually use this pedal as a reverb pedal if you use that feature, like use that attack knob. This feature makes the pedal instantly double as useful as if it didn't have the attack knob. So what is new on the version 2, the D1 version 2? First of all, let's talk about my favorite new feature, which is the tape delay. They changed the algorithm for the, the vintage delay program, and instead of the old tone, which was a very sort of narrow, very, very vintage kind of uh, delay tone, now it emulates a tape delay and it's one of the finest emulations I've ever heard. They also revised another program, which is the reverse program, the reverse delay, which is now more, well, it's a stronger effect. You can hear those reversed melodies and, and little licks way more than in the first version. They also added a stereo width control, which is really cool. You have two ways of making the, the stereo sound of the pedal sound, well, kind of narrower or super wide. The first version is called panned, and the other one is called the Haas stereo effect. The panned uh, widening effect is, well, it explains itself. There's a, a kind of a panning movement, and with that movement, you have this kind of exciting stereo tone. And the other one, the Haas effect, I'm not sure about the, the technical term, like how exactly it creates this uh, tone that it does, but it is a way more subtle and just a very elegant, pretty stereo sound. And you can make that also very wide or just a little bit wider than a standard monotone.
I love this uh, Haas stereo effect a lot. And uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll just use that most of the time because it's, it's kind of less bling bling, if you know what I mean, less aggressive. And uh, you can place that stereo tone in a, a, a band mix way nicer and way clearer. The last new feature is actually a really important one. It's the added USB port, which the original D1 didn't have. And uh, I use that quite a lot on the other Mako series pedals, which all have this USB port and now the D1 as well. What you can do with that is you can update the firmware of the pedal. So whenever Warrus Audio decides to put out a new version, uh, whatever they tweaked, if it's a tonal thing or like a feature that they add to the pedal, you can just simply connect the pedal with the uh, with your computer and update it. It's um, it's very nice. And now let's talk about what you've all been waiting for: how to win the D1 version two. You'll have to do four things. You will have to subscribe to three channels and write a comment. So the channels are. Well, obviously my channel. You have to subscribe to this channel. That's pretty simple. You can do it right now. Hit the subscribe button under the video. It's uh, If you're watching this on a computer, it's gonna be somewhere there. If on a cell phone or whatever, iPad, I don't know, it's somewhere. So subscribe to my channel. Then subscribe to the Warus Audio channel. I'll put the link in the description box of this video. And subscribe to the Face Distribution channel. And the fourth thing you have to do is leave a comment below in this comment section of this video. You will have to write in the comment, drum roll, what is your favorite video on this channel? Which of my videos did you enjoy most? It doesn't matter which one, not this one, please. That doesn't count. And there's one more thing you definitely have to pay attention to. Please do not leave your YouTube channel with which you enter this um, giveaway on private because if I cannot see your subscriptions, I cannot tell if you subscribed to my channel, the Warriors Audio channel and the Face channel. If I cannot see if you subscribed, I cannot tell if you fulfilled whatever was like, whatever were the requirements. So then I cannot choose you as a winner. So when I'm doing this pick, it's gonna be a random pick with one of these softwares, these websites where you can like random pick a YouTube comment. I will pick one and uh, I will see which is your favorite video of mine. And then I will have to check on your channel if you subscribe to this one, the Warriors channel and the face. If I cannot see anything because it's set to private, I have to choose someone else. So please make sure that at least for this short period of time, even if you want to go back to whatever, hide everything later on, please make sure that I can see your subscriptions. That's very important. Otherwise, I cannot choose you as a winner. All right, if any of this was confusing, you'll see a full description and terms and conditions and everything in the description box. Just open it up right under this video and you'll find all the infos you need to know. You guys take it easy. See you next week in a new video. I'll meet you down there in the comments. I'll be back. Good luck with the giveaway.